Okay, so this is going to be a follow-up from the last video that I sent out, the, uh, the workflow video on how you can create a template to reduce the time that you're spending on adding digital backgrounds to your uh, workflow. And uh, what I wanted to do is clear a few things up. I had a couple of questions come in from some of you that wanted to know how I was getting multiple backgrounds in. And I guess I wasn't as clear as I should have been. So what I want to do is walk you through that real quick. I promise this won't be that long. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. And it's real simple. And this works for anything. If you want to add multiple images to one image, this is how you're going to do it. So... With that being said, let me get this out of the way and let me start right from scratch. We're going to go File, Open, and then I'm going to find the background that I want to work on. So wherever they're on your hard drive, you're going to want to locate that and then choose it. Okay, now we have that image open. Okay, that image is open. Now we're going to go find our subject, wherever your subject is. I know mine's on my desktop and I'm going to hit Open. We'll give that a second to open. Okay. And now you can see I have two images open. I have my subject and I have my background. Okay. So I can just click on either one of them anywhere on the image and it's going to kind of toggle back and forth. Okay. So all I do is take the layer, okay, that my subject is on or the image. If it's, if it's just a background image, I can drag that in. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So I just drag the subject now into the workspace that I want the image to be, or the subject to be. And then I just take the subject and move him where I want him, maybe like in there, okay? Now I'm going to add a third element to this, and that's going to be the edge. So I hit File, Open again, and I want to go find my edge. i got to find, uh, let's see here, Edges. And I'm going to choose, let's see, is it this one that I want? Yeah, I like that one. Hit open. It's going to open it up. Again, I'm going to slide it a little bit out of the way. Go to the layer and just drag it into my document. That's all there is to that. Okay? And then just center that where you want it. Pretty much I'm done. Okay? But now if you wanted to add an additional background or multiple backgrounds and then save that as your master file, you just go File open let's go to another background let's choose this one it's going to open up again in a, another window it's its own its own image drag that out of the way drag it in okay let me back up again cuz i want to show you that real slow take this right here this layer and drag it into the document that you're working on okay Line it up. It should snap into uh, into the uh, area where everything is going to be uniformed on the corners. And then just drag it to the bottom or lower than your subject. And now I've just inserted another background so I can just turn it on and off. It's that simple. Um, now again, while I'm in here, let me just show you this real quick too. The other step I would do to this image is I'd put a drop shadow on the subject, layer, style, and then go to drop shadow. And I like to give it a drop shadow that's a little, you know, a little exaggerated. You can see I'll take the distance out, and then I'll, I don't know if you can see that. Let me pull this out so you can see it. All I did was just grab the, the distance, brought that out, and then I brought the size of it out maybe, and I can drop the opacity down if I want to, whatever. You can play around with that, but it just gives a little bit of a depth, but also makes it look a little more grungy and, and all that. But... That's all I did. Now I can just do this over and over and over again with multiple backgrounds. And then when I'm all done, I'm not going to flatten it. I would go file and I would go save as, and then I would save it as master background, you know, grunge select or um, collections, whatever. Um, that's what I would do. If I'm going to save this to print, I'm going to go layer. I'm going to go flatten. And then I'm going to go file, save as, and then I'm going to save it whatever I want, you know, whatever the customer's name is, and then I'm going to have that printed. But then I've never, I, I didn't do anything to the master file, okay? So I hope that makes more sense by showing you that really all you're doing is just going file, open, and then you're finding the image that you want or the background or the subject, whatever, and you're dragging it into the main document. That's all there is to adding multiple images to a background. So I hope this cleared it up. 
I really enjoyed making this video for you and the ones before, and I really hope you're getting a lot out of these. So I'll talk to you later. Take care.